Some sunshine yes. today, which was good, and uh, I'm ready for summer already. <laughs> Even though we haven't had much, of, we haven't had much of a winter really? yet. Ready for summer? Yeah, it's right around the corner. We'll be getting soft serve <laughs> ice cream down the street before you know it. Here between newscasts, uh, today we fell all the way back to uh, average, 37 degrees, the high temperature in Boston, which is the average high for this time of the year. It's cool out there tonight in the 20s to low 30s. Our lows will be in the next couple of hours, but there is some milder air down toward the mid-Atlantic. A south breeze will pick up, and temperatures will actually rise after midnight tonight. We call that a non-diurnal temperature trend, meaning it doesn't go with the sun going up and down. It's opposite of what you would typically expect. So here's a look at the big picture. We've got a weak wave moving its way through the Great Lakes. Much more hefty storm system across the southern states, but all that action is going to stay off to our south, so we just get a little bit of light snow and rain. That develops after midnight tonight. Again, the lows are in the next few hours, and then they start to move up again as we approach tomorrow morning, and that light snow breaks out, generally after 4 a.m., and the best chance of any of those slick spots early tomorrow morning would be along and north of the Mass Pike. This is where temperatures are at or below freezing, and so some slick areas. It's minor, don't get me wrong, but just giving the early heads up that if you are heading out, any untreated surfaces will be slick. As we approach 10 a.m., the last of the rain showers moving their way off to the east will break into the sunshine, and temperatures actually pretty mild for this time of the year. So coatings to an inch possible, Boston north and west, around the city and the coast changing over to rain after any early light snowflakes. Best chance of one to three across the greens, also into central and northern New Hampshire. So the ski areas get a little bit of a refresher with some powder coming down in the morning. Some good news there. Any impacts generally between about 5 and 8, maybe into 9 a.m. across the area. But again, not expecting a whole lot so long as those roads are treated. In terms of our snow cover, there's nothing in any of southern New England, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, into Connecticut. You have to go above 2,000 feet in the Berkshires for even some patchy snow on the ground. It's been a slow start to the season. Tomorrow's highs into the mid-40s so that anything that does fall is certainly going to melt and will be breezy out of the west tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow's also the day where we start to gain daylight on both ends of the day. We've already been doing that in the evening, but tomorrow brings our earliest, or I should say latest sunrise, and then it starts to get earlier from here on out. We gain about 50 minutes of daylight in January and about 70 minutes of daylight in February. So a couple of hours on the menu over the next couple of months. Temperatures staying on the mild side of things for the next few days. Friday will be in the upper 40s. Dry day, nice end to the week. And then another storm system approaches on Saturday. This is another one where it's really a nor'easter, but there isn't any cold around. So we have mainly rainy conditions here on Saturday. Maybe a bit of freezing rain far to the north and west across the interior. And then we'll see some drier air and sunshine return on Sunday. As it uh, pertains to ski country, tomorrow brings one to four inches of snow. Pleasant day on Friday. Right now, I think the majority of the rain will stay off to the south and east of most ski areas, which is really the best case scenario here on Saturday. Next storm system we'll watch arrives in California this weekend. It'll get re-energized across the Midwest on Monday, and there's a little more cold across New England as we head toward Tuesday of next week. This will be our next chance for some wintry mix and maybe our first plowable snow since mid-November. It would favor inland areas, and that's the one we'll be watching over the next few days and uh, certainly a ways out. So that track shift a little bit before we get there. As for the weekend, again, Sunday is the pick. Overall, I'd say my favorite day of the forecast would be Friday to get outdoors. David and Lisa, back to you. All right, sounds good, Eric. Thank